What's up, YouTube? So I'm, um, bringing my shit down here so I could work inside. But, um, just doing some soldering. I've gotten a couple runs done already. Four of them done. So I'm gonna be doing some work in my buddy's car. And, uh, just, uh, got some terminals, solder. Torch, DMM, don't need that right now though. I'm on my wire, but uh, this is all the zero gauge I got, so I'm not gonna use that since I have so much four gauge. But I um, I'm gonna show you how to use these <coughs> copper lugs because every time that I see somebody using these. They put, they put the wire in there, and then they, like, set it down on the ground and use a hammer and pound it. And I just want to show that that's not a good connection, just uh, pounding it and taping it, because that's something that Ray's Electronics would do, and that they did do to my shit. So, I just don't fuck with uh, shops anymore. I'm doing everything myself. So, let me show you how to get this done. First thing you're going to want to do is get, I'll just do one terminal, show you guys right now. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do two. So you guys get two angles. We're going to use, well, where's our little piece? It could be semi-useful. Uh, uh, we'll use this. So what I do first, or what everybody does first, they uh, gotta strip that. Just so you guys could see this before we actually start the difference between zero gauge and four gauge. It's a pretty dramatic difference in wire content. So, uh, that's why we got, uh, multiple runs, four gauge going on. But, uh, what I'm going to do first, strip it, just, uh, go a little bit back, just enough so that the terminal will fit on there. I'll right, we'll give it a little bit more. Then I uh, twist it up a little bit, test fit the uh, lug on there, twist it up a bit so it goes on all nice, and uh, as you can see I just stripped it off enough so that it went on there, just the terminal. So now the next thing you're going to need to do terminal off, arm your torch, always want to keep it on as low of a flame as possible without it shutting off on you, but uh, I just take my wire stripper, take the lug, hold it in there. But uh, I just realized I didn't cut up any solder yet. Probably should have done that before I turned the torch on, but I got this torch for free, so I don't really give a fuck. So just take some solder, like uh, three, four inches long, bend it in half, twist it up. And you got like a nice twist of solder there. So I'm going to take my terminal, clamp it in there. 
Now to show you how very little you do this, just take the take the torch, put it up to the lug. Always keep it on a little blue flame. Drop the wire in there, let it sit, let it cool off, turn off your torch. I heated that one up a little bit too much. You always got to remember when uh, soldering, too much solder or too little solder is, can make a big difference. You don't want too much solder because you don't want too much resistance in the, in the uh, terminal. But, uh... Other than that, just waiting for this to dry. Melted down the insulating part a little bit. It's a little discolored from the heat, but it's not going to make a difference. Now, just to show you how strong this connection is, it take the wire stripper, and I'm going to pull this pretty fucking hard. And just so you guys can see, you will break the wire before you break this connection. Shit ain't going nowhere. Alright, so now, the little way I like to tape shit off, I mean, I like to do shit my own way. And I like things to look nice the first time that they've, they've been done and make sure that they're right the first time they're done but uh it's just taping off I always just peel a little bit put it on keep it as tight as I can the tape roll I don't like take off uh, like a strand that I'm gonna wrap around it because if I do it like this it's gonna be a whole lot tighter on the wire and it's going to look a whole lot cleaner. You could even just do as I'm doing right now and just keep the wire pressed against it and just spin it. Alright. Now, one side's done. Perfect soldered connection. Not smashed. Nothing. Everything's all soldered. So, now, what I'm going to do, take you guys back to the other side of this wire.